कोडिंग विथ ए आई और वाइब कोडिंग इज कूल बट वाट्स नॉट कूल इज द बग एंड द सिक्योरिटी इश्यू डैट कॉम्स इलॉन्ग्स विथ इट सो हियर कॉम टेस्ट स्प्राइट द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट फुल्ली ऑटोनोमस ए आई टेस्टिंग एजेंट इट एनालाइज योर प्रोजेक्ट एंड ऑटोमेटिकली जेनरेट टेस्ट केसेस रॉन्स देम आइडेंटिफाई इश्यू एंड इवेन सजेस्ट फिक्सेस ऑटोमेटिकली एंड यू कैन इजिली इंटीग्रेट इट इन योर ए आई पावर कोड इडिटर्स लाइक कर्सर वाइंडस ऑफ ट्रे आई डी एंड विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड यू डोंट नीड टू वरी अबाउट इट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन स्टेप बाय स्टेप हाउ टू सेट अप एंड हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट द एम सी पी सॉवर इन कर्सर आई डी सो नाउ लेट्स डाइव इन द वीडियो सो द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू क्रिएट एन अकाउंट इन द टेस्ट स्प्राइट To create an account click on sign in button and here click on create an account and you can continue with the google or you can manually fill up these details email and password to create an account i will continue with the google and uh, then i will choose my google account Our account creation step is completed successfully. Click on Got it, and then click on Go to Dashboard. Here you can see one fifty free credit is credited in our account. You can also get one month free trial, which gives more free credit. So to do this, you can click on Manage Plan. Here you can see the starter plan. You will get one month free trial of free of cost. and then from the second month you will be charged 19 dollar so sign up from the link which i given in the description box in order to get one month free trial you can simply claim the one month free trial by clicking on upgrade button and here you need to verify your card details it will not cost any amount in the first month you will be charged here you can see The total due today is zero dollar. So now let's start integrating its M M C P server in our IDE. To integrate, you need to click on Test Locally M C P, and here there is a one quick install button. Click on that, and you can integrate into your cursor IDE by clicking Add to the cursor. And if you want to integrate in Cloud IDE, you can do by following these steps. and you can also do by copy this code and add into your favorite id directly so for today i am going to demonstrate how to integrate this into the cursor id so i will click on add to cursor and it will open cursor id and uh, we also need to create an api key First let me install this MCP server and then later I will show you how to create API. And here we need to paste our API key. So let me go to the test sprite website and click on create a API key. And now click on new API key and here give the name of your API. I will give demo and then click on create and this is the pi and make sure to securely copy the key ever because once you close this key will not be displayed again so i will copy this and paste in the cursor id and make sure you have already installed the node and pythons because here you can see there is a command if this come is this things are not installed then you then your mcp server will not be work so i will click on install and uh, and it will show six tool enabled and if there is a green color it means that the test sprite mcp server is successfully integrated and now it is in working mode and if it is in red or any other color then this means that there is a something error the mcp server isn't installed properly it happens due to 
in your PC like you haven't installed the node or something like that and here you can see our 6 tool is enabled like test sprite bootstrap test and generate code summary and many more and these are all tool that mcp server uses to create test case run those test case generate summary and even suggest the fixes now let me check what we have to do next so i will go to the test sprite again to check is there anything left or not everything is good now we only need to give this command to the ai in cursor to trigger the test sprite mcp server but before that let me show my project also before calling the test sprite mcp server make sure you have successfully run your project in your localhost so first of all i will run my project in localhost so i will go to my powershell and run my front end project okay. Here I have run my this project in localhost successfully and now let me show this project. So basically it is a project that I have been created as a part of hackathons. So today I am going to test this website whether there are any security or any other issue or the box. So now our local server is started. Now I will go to this cursor ID and make sure you use cloud 4 or above than it like 4 or 4.5 or any its reasoning model. Now I am going to test its front end. You can also test its back end by simply giving the command. So for now I am going to test its front end. I will give the prompt as help me to test pro, uh, test this uh, test project with uh, test sprite now click on enter and here our mcp server and its all corresponding tool are activated it is started analyzing our project code base And yeah, first it will ask for the testing configuration. So here is the mode you can choose. Either you can choose front end or the back end. It depends on which code base you are going to test. And second one is scope. It asks for what you are going to test. Either whole code base or only some specific part. And uh, here the third one is the test account info if you have the authentication part in your project like uh, login and sign up then you need to provide the testing username and the testing password so i will give my testing username and password and in port section give the name of the port where your project is currently running since it is running at 573 which is already detected and here you need to provide your project requirement doc if you don't have the product requirement file then you first need to create it it is the file that give informations about your project requirements and the features you can generate it inside cursor only by giving the command or the prompt like uh, generate the product requirement file for this project so the cursor will generate one for you and then you can upload here as i have already this um, pw file i will click on upload and upload my prd files and then i will click on continue and now i will back to the cursor and it is still learning and try to figure out which tool should I use next. So I will let you know once it is completed.
So once test sprite MCP finishes analyzing our project, it automatically generates code summary.json file. This file basically contains a complete structured understanding of our project like all your function, classes and logical flows. Now you can see it has started generating the file called test sprite standard prd. This is where all the testing logic and procedure are being created automatically. In simple terms, this file represents the AI generated testing plan and now it is moving ahead to generate the frontend test plan. This is where it starts preparing all the real user interaction test for the website. Now it will start executing the test plan using its built-in generate code and execute tool. This is the stage where all those automatically created test cases are actually being run in the real time. It will check how the website behaves, verify each comment and identify any broken flow, logical error or any UI issues. As you can see, it automatically created 20 test cases. If you want to check them yourself, just go to the MCP dashboard. Click on home and hit refresh. And there we go. All 20 case test cases ready to run. Now it's going through each cases, checking if everything is working properly. Let's wait for the all test cases to finish running and then I will show what result it gives us. And here you can see all our test cases have executed successfully. And now it's generating a comprehensive test report by analyzing all the results. Till then let's go to the test sprite and check the test cases. Here you can see out of the 20 test cases only 4 passed. Let's dive into the detail. Let me check the user sign up with a valid email and password test. Here you can see it recorded a live test. It means it tried to creating an account but it actually failed. So this is one issue that's caught automatically. Another test, sign up with invalid email format, which is passed, which means user cannot sign up with an invalid email. You can explore all other test cases and here you can see most of them have failed. And I will also show you how to fix this all issue and now return to the cursor and our test sprite is still generating the full report file here it has generated the report it is showing which test case passed and which failed and highlighting the security issues this make it easy to identify exactly what need fixing in your project to fix all those failed test cases just gi uh, give the prompt to the cursor like fix all the issues where test case fails and now it is started to resolve all the issue in your project automatically And that's how test sprite MCP automatically test your project, find hidden box, fixes broken flows and even highlight security issues. If you want to try test sprite for yourself and make your coding project fully bug free and secure, you can check out it using my affiliate link in the descriptions. And also don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel and comment the topic which you want to see in the next video. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.